Yeah. New volunteer year. The chapter council is a group that was put together a couple of years ago, consisting of state presidents and presidents elect, and the chapter leadership team, of course, is invited to uh, all of the chapter chat and chapter council calls and staff committee and we'll talk about them a little bit later but uh, thanks for joining and we have a lot to go over today but feel free to ask questions if any pop up throughout so a quick review here's some ANFP and chapter news and these might be repeats if you weren't so bad, but really quick um, as many state of the association um, you'll have the chance to talk about what you experienced at National Leadership Conference, and the floor will be open. Ask questions, we're looking for recommendations for you. Necker, what you like, didn't like, complete open, um, and, this floor. and then the year ahead. Some more national updates, we have a lot going on here. Um, the chapter visits, the dates are also available, and throughout the year. And at the end, we'll talk about the goals forum, and some other chapter resources. First of all, congratulations to all the winning chapters, especially Louisiana, who is the 2013 Diamond Award winner. Seven Diamond nominees for this year, and we're always looking to increase that. So great job to everybody. We had 41 chapters who were at the platinum level of the State Achievement Award, and that's also great. great. And to improve, of course, but um, we're really happy with those numbers, and we hope that everyone else is too. Uh, for numbers, we had 540 chapter roles. So that's at state level. That's not even including any district volunteers. But a great number that we have, and lots of hard work going into your organization and the industry. At the business meeting, um, right up, the AP lobbyists also introduced a new campaign to support the Safe Food for Seniors Act of 2013. This was introduced to Congress in May, and it keeps building momentum. So this is just a quick note, but if you are interested in getting more involved in that, we have information on our website, and Martha Abel would be the contact at headquarters if you'd like to um, call us and ask how you can get more involved or contact your state spokesperson. And Bill St. John also retired, and we did get new associates on the screen here, Dr. Joyce Gilbert. So that's been a very interesting turn of direction, and we're looking forward to seeing what this um, coming year also brings, lots of changes. Um, you may remember that the STEM exam is all now computer based. No more and technology advanced actually expands the options for examinees. The test taking window has really um, broadened. It's not limited to week, one two weeks per year, but they have a lot more options now. At quarters, we did break ground for the foundation. Brickway, lots of chapters have participated, and I'm actually going to pass it off to Kate here to explain a little bit more. Hi, everybody. Uh, as most of you know, I began my work here at ANFP with the chapters, and now I am transitioning into the role of working uh, with our foundation. And the foundation is a committed group of folks who have been around a long time with this organization, and as you know, have been offering scholarships for years. Um, also, have um, taken some new initiatives. Conducting research and the value and the visibility of the CDM. One of the most um, participated, I guess, fundraising events has been the Foundation Brick Walkway. We installed 100 bricks in 2012 13, I guess, and we are always looking to um, expand Brick Walkway. I think the chair of the foundation has, has said we wanted to go around the entire um, headquarters building. So. We have invited those chapters who have not participated uh, to participate, and you see the edge of the brick that's there. That's an individual um, uh, picture. There's also all kinds of options, but there's been some really creative additions. Not
not only just saying, you know, what the chapter name is and, and the year, uh, your anniversary year, also and people put some really interesting things. So, interested in participating, that information has been shared with you, or you can always visit, visit the Foundation website, which is www.nfe.org. It's listed at the bottom of the screen. Uh, also, is a place where you can find all the scholarships, both for regional meetings, national Institute, the foundation is now offering scholarships for the exams that will be happening uh, more often. So know that the foundation is hard at work for uh, increasing the visibility and the value of your credential, and uh, we certainly appreciate any support. And all the pictures of the bricks are on the foundation's Facebook page too. If you're a Facebook user, you can go to uh, the NSEF page there. Thank you. And I think most of you are aware that National Leadership Conference debuted in Savannah this year. And this is where we are going to open up to, there we go, any um, feedback, recommendations for next year. We also have the save the date for, for yeah, 2014. We'll be in Minneapolis in June. But coming back to Savannah in July, Mike about it, we've heard a lot about Forum groups, um, and we also want to know what you thought of the after changes as well. So, open floor, feel free to speak up, good and bad, we want to hear it all. A little groups where we could get together and do our networking, and we had a topic to talk about. You like forum groups? Good. Great. Great. And there was a survey that went out this or this week. So thank you all for, for those who have filled out. And if you haven't, we look forward to your responses there too. So forum groups were a success. Um, what did you think of the chapter awards and best practices session? All of the awards there. Did you like it split up like it was in the past? I think pretty smooth. I mean, it got done. It didn't take too long, but there was enough time that everybody was recognized. Would you prefer having, say, the platinum? the levels of state achievement award and the others like membership in the same session you like there or like we did in the past having platinum separated platinum diamond separated and I enjoyed the way that it was formatted in Savannah um, if I give a suggestion and it's just my own personal suggestion is that for the platinum if you have uh, uh, a, 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 a top three, and then have a runner-up, and then have your your platinum winner. Very done winner, excuse me. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think I think we'll read some things definitely for diamond next year. But so it sounds like platinum was okay. All right. Um, if you think of anything after this call, or if you would prefer to speak in private, it will be available. Um, there's also that survey if you'd prefer um, to add into the bigger group um, compilation. But we, we hope you to see Minneapolis next year, if not before. But definitely save the date for that one. Okay. I won't ever use the flag again. Yeah. There is no plan for that right now. Um, like to see it back? I'm sorry. This is Larry from Virginia, and I was asking that question because I wanted to know whether we needed to invest into it uh, or what should we do with the patches that we're getting. Yep. We know a lot of chapters are doing the pull-up signs. Many of them are from MedFair. 
Uh, some have gone through other vendors, but there's kind of a movement to go those. And some have them still have the cloth banners. Um, so I think it was last year we heard the feedback that um, the chapter still wanted the patches. But I mean, at this point, I think we'll continue doing it unless we hear otherwise. Um, I guess I, I would suggest using them to display even if you can't um, sew them to a cloth. Okay. Hey, like I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of upgrades going on at headquarters now. And just to give you a heads up, you might see some changes coming in the, well, starting next week. Uh, we'll be getting a new phone system, so I hope this makes everything more efficient for the members. This is all for you guys. We want to make sure that you are talking to the right person um, first twice. So you'll you call in for next week, you'll hear a menu department, and you can choose from there. But if you're not sure or you want to speak with someone in person, there will be an option at the very end called Concierge Line. So you'll always have the opportunity to speak to someone in person. Um, and you can still dial the direct numbers. So if you know you want to talk to Mark Kate, um, we still have our extensions. So that will be the same. Um, but we hope to route the calls a little more efficiently starting next week. The second point here is in a couple weeks we are also getting a new database. So you'll see a lot of similarities, um, but it will also have a lot of enhancements for the chapter management specifically. We've been working really hard on this for you. I'm going to skip ahead and then go back. But this is a screen of what's coming next month. So this is this will be under the member login. And on the left side, way down you'll see a chapter management button. So only current chapter and district leaders will have access to this. And here you can update officer. You can see chapter officer three. Um, you can pull a member roster from here. And there will be a, under the chapter management section, you'll be able to upload all of the awards, all of the goals, um, the forms that we ask you to complete throughout the year so you're not wondering, have I turned this in yet? Has anybody done it? What did we submit for this? So it will be a dashboard for you. Um, we realize that there will be some transition time. And again, this is just an introduction. We will have detailed discuss about this. You'll be seeing a lot more information, using um, e-news, and emails from me, and in the web uh, chapter chat next month. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that it will look a little bit different. Um, with login, right now you, many of you have a username, but on September 30th, it will be connected to the email you have on file. So I think that's a little easy to remember for everyone. Um, but this is just a, just a screenshot of it. Are going to make everything more user friendly for you and beneficial to members. So uh, again, we realize that it was time even for us. We're still doing things. Um, but if you have any questions at that date um, or now, we are happy to answer them. We have a fall meeting coming up at the end of September. Could you just kind of maybe send send out a easy presentation to so we can give to our our members at that meeting on on, on what you just went over. Sure. sure. I'll send some information about the new memo again. Okay. Our meeting is the 27th and 28th, so it seems like it'd be an opportune time to fill them in on this. Yes. Yes, good answer. Right. As usual, you'll be getting a follow-up email from me, so I'll include that there. Thank and you. Lastly, we have 
Um, if you've done an online course recently, you will, you will have noticed we got a new, it's called a, an LMS, a learning management system. Um, so this is in place for a couple months, and we're still, we still have two courses for chapter leaders. They will be one CE each for free, um, and we're just finalizing how to get those public. So ready to go, and you will be seeing those soon as well. I'm just going back to the online um, course. Um, lots of input went into that from the chapter leader team about a volunteer 101 course, and Kim did a great job of putting the content of that together. Our hopes for that course, and this will certainly be promoted um, at when it is ready to go live, um, is for new folks, new volunteers, or people that might be interested in volunteering to get some information about volunteering before they actually commit to it. Um, many of you, you know, this has been part of your life. And for all of us who are pretty engaged in volunteer roles, it's been integrated into what we do. But for those folks who are kind of wondering about what, uh, what it's like to get involved and what it really means to be a volunteer, we hope that this will be kind of a quick way for folks to learn a little bit more about the organization, and earn a CE, and kind of their appetite for getting involved at the local and the national level. So this came out of lots of feedback from you over the years, chapter leaders over the years, that you wanted some help in succession planning and recruiting. And uh, we thought what a great way to match that need with also the need for CE. So we're excited when that rolls out for all of you to be able to spread the word. And if you are meeting at your new, at your meeting, um, or you first get connected to somebody that's new to the organization, you can point them in that direction. Not only does it, like I said, give them the CE, but it also gives them an idea of the work that you do at the local level and what the benefits are of volunteering for the organization. So really excited about that rollout. And again, we'll, we'll um, give an overview when it is rolled out. So CE. Again, this is an introduction coming next year, June 2014. Our database, we'll, we will have the ca uh, capability of self-reporting. So some of you may belong to other associations that already do this. You report your own CEs. Um, and this is the direction that we are also going in, in um, for the CBM certifying board. So, Important factors to know, if you do not already have a certificate of completion, this will be very important because the individual will need to submit these to get the CEE. Um, it will, the program will still need a prior approval number, but you will no longer receive the sign-in sheet since it will, no, it will be a group sign-in. Um, it will just be for individual. It will be really great tracking your own, um, not wondering when this is going to happen, where is the sign-in sheet, did it get submitted, everybody can tear up their own um, 45 CEs. So the number of hours are required 45 every three years with five in sanitation, so that's not changing at all. Um, and this will be an honor system. So with self-reporting, submit your own, and we trust that they're correct, but there will be random audits just to make sure that the uh, credentials stay strong. And those who are being ready audited will be notified about a month in advance. So if somebody hasn't turned in all of their CE for that time period to stay certified, they can do that in that, that time period. So Question. Again, when did you say yes? So when, when is, will this take effect, you think, um, like we, when we're for a spring meeting and we send it in, and, um, the state, um, y'all not going to send a signing sheet, you're saying that the, um, each person's going to sponsor before they turn in their CEUs? It will. This starts June 2014. So any programs after June 1, 2014, mm -hmm. and the self-reporting will start. Okay. Thank okay. you. A whole year away. Whole year. We're just introducing it now. Certificate of completion is the certificate that you hand the uh, members? Yes. 
Yeah, so that's already required with the prior approval um, process. So all you have to do is, is hand out to members if you don't already. Okay. And there is a template on the website for your certificate of attendance. Yes, and, um, and it would be great to put the chapter logo on the certificate if that's possible. So, again, an introduction. Um, CBM is trying this out, and you'll hear a lot more information again in the magazine. Um, I'll get some FAQs, and if you have any questions, let us know, and we can make sure to answer those. You probably won't be the only one with that question. I'm in a meeting. Okay. Visits. Um, you might be happy to hear that last year the board did a pre-chapter visit again. So we'll be looking to do these. If you have any requests, please send them to me. Um, we have a national committee called the Chapter Leadership Team, and these are the members in this uh, table down here. And they come here every so often to discuss mentoring, leadership training, and how to get chapters and volunteers to do the best for okay. and the members. Uh, they'll, they'll looking to do a few more visits um, in the spring. And national board members also want to check out what, what you're doing at um, things, and they will be attending um, to talk to membership, encourage leadership succession play, and also provide an update from headquarters. These are not prize visits. These are not audits. Um, they are there for recognition and help. Um, so and if you would like any members, any listed on the screen or the board, exact national board, can, then please let me know and we can we can try to arrange it for the spring. So pick up the cost on that or will the state? Question. Uh, this is Kate. So the, the design of the chapter visit team is to those folks to be, they're equipped to train board members and to also help in kind of succession planning and recruiting new volunteers. So their role out there is funded from the national organization. And we try um, kind of what we're going to try and do because we have just a certain amount of dollars budgeted for that is kind of like basically how we can get folks to as many places as possible within a budget number. If you're requesting somebody from the national board just to visit, maybe just a view of the chapter, and the chapter has the funds that uh, you're a strong organization, no additional training, you're just looking for some national presence. If the chapter can cover some of those costs, that would be ideal. Um, again, there's it, we're kind of we're figuring this out in this first year, um, but our commitment certainly is to make sure that there is a strong presence of national. Uh, volunteers at the low level. The national board has been clear about making sure that that uh, returns to the chapter meeting. And job and Kim's job is to make sure that those struggling chapters get on site training and support they need to to get that chapter up and running again. Okay. Um, you are interested in of it. We'll we'll have conference calls discuss what. What you need, and it will be tailored to um, what chapter is looking for. Our goal is to have a visit on a three-year rotation. So um, not all the chapters will get a visit this year. Uh, it will be um, every three years. Some presence. The other neat thing we get to factor into this are the regional meetings. Many of you, um, many of your chapters are represented at the regional meetings, and there's guaranteed to be uh, kids and. Uh, chapter leadership team and uh, national board members at those regional meetings. So it's to make sure that you're getting the resources locally. So hope that's helpful. We're really glad to see that this is a priority of the national board again. Okay. Every three years to the same uh, places or every year? 
rotation. Well, how many? Alters will have one visit for a year period. Okay. Got it. Okay. A little bit more information. You might have you might have seen emails from me uh, about the bonding insurance. This is a, a best practice for chapters to protect embezzlement and fraud. Um, and contract will put service on you, but it is really important to protect the chapter's hard-earned money. Uh, you can get this at a local insurance company if you would prefer that. If it's a better deal, but we also offer it um, through our insurance. Company and we we do profit off of this. It's just the service afters. So if you are interested in this, it is um, due this weekend. The an application it is on volunteer resources online or in your email inbox, and it's $135 for the year. Uh, there was a chance to have to use this this past year, so um, you might think that things okay, but you never know. So we do ask that you. Insure in some way, either through us or through a local company. If you are through our insurance company, the coverage of October 1st goes through September 30th, 2018. Um, and the bonding policy covers up to 25000 liability and has a $100 deductible. So if you're interested um, have questions, please let us know. Otherwise, um, the applications are due this week so that we can get things organized with the insurance company. Um, yeah. Are the the states are listed on this page? Are those the states that have these things done, or the states that still need to have these things done? Yeah. So updates are also available, and if you on this page, these are still outstanding. So, okay. um. We hope that everybody gets their chapter rebates, but if you see your state on this list, that means we haven't received either the 990 for tax exemption or updated bylaws. And um, if you know you have completed this or your chapter has, please forward it on to me and we can get the chapter rebate taken care of. And Kim? Yes. Oh, wait, I'll finish. I'll let you finish. Oh, go. This is Kathy from Utah. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, we're going to run the changes in the bonds at our, our meeting on October 1st. Is, is that going to be too late to get the rebate check? Should I set ahead of time? Or? If you want it now, we will accept it. And then if there are any updates after that vote, then you can re reset um, the document with the updates. Um, okay. but no, I, I know that's happening with a lot of chapters. If they want to wait for a fall meeting or a board meeting, and that's fine. Um, but if you do have a draft ready, we would love to see that too. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. For the bylaws and policies and procedures, we're really looking for um, that annually and also name change. A lot of chapters um, might have updated bylaws, but we haven't seen them. So the ones on file here still say May from. From 1984. So if you have updated information, please send that along um, to me, Kim. While on this page, D90 is very important. This is actually this is a government requirement. Um, we at headquarters pushed the sign up for chapters just to make sure that it was done. But the very last day this is due to, um, submitted to the IRS is October 15th. So about one month, if you haven't done it already, if you have, please forward that e-receipt to me that you received. Um, S-Form 990 is extremely important so that each chapter remains a nonprofit. So it's about um, the 90 or No. No. <laughs> Reminder, if you think you have noise on your end, you can hover your mouse over your name on the right of the screen and push the, the microphone button.
Okay. Volunteer resources. Um, some of this might be a repeat for some of you, but it is important that we go over. And I am actually going to share my desktop with you now. Okay. So let me log in. And this is the volunteer resources page. We have already planned your fall meeting, but we want to emphasize that there is a speaker directly available. We still get asked, where do I find speakers? What can I look at? Um, and where can I find prizes? This is a great thing put together by the Professional Development Committee. We should be getting an updated one for this next um, three, or, sorry, 2013, 2014 year. But take a look at this, and even if you the speakers don't work for you, they might brainstorm something. So we encourage you to take a look at this. They're listed, the speakers are listed alphabetically by last name. And if you roll to the bottom, dates are available. So if you're looking for, for some local, did here, um, and you are willing to travel as well. So you need to take a look at that if you have not already. Yes. Next, at our council meeting in Savannah, we kind of ran out of time, so I'd like to go over the goal court form. Uh, this, along with the officers and budget, are due November 1st. So and these are all available on volunteer resources, and you'll be getting emails from me. But if you have a board meeting coming up and want to work on these, available for you to download and save onto your computer. Up old form, the special leadership team work hard. Um, hone, hone this preview was blank page, but they thought these were very important to chapters, four chapters to look at. You don't have to have a goal in each of these areas, but we think um, the chapter leadership team thinks that this is a well-rounded way to look at the year ahead. If you have more than one goal in the future, that's fine too. Um, a great example here at the bottom from the chapter last year. One goal and broke down into six different pieces on how we're actually going to do this. So that's a reference for you, and if you want even more Examples, I can send you some if you want to send me an email and request that. And page two. This is all in the handbook, but I wanted to put it right here. It makes sense. Um, instructions on how to set goals. So if you need something more broad, step by step, uh, this is here as well. Okay, resources. In Indiana, we had about um, volunteer handbooks, and we unfortunately don't have less. But, I mean, that's a good thing. We handed them all out in Savannah, but it is here on the volunteer mail section. You can download this if it's loose throughout the year or um, need a computer. It is here. And while I have it open, I would like to show you. Let's see, these hats. Roland. Please take a look at this. Um, we, we recognize it's not the most interesting thing, but it's very important. It's, it's a good reference. Um, so we hope that you can break it down. We don't expect you to read it all in one go. Page 10 is the ANFP style guide. And any chapter communication that was out, we really encourage you to proofread it if you can get it to one other person to look over before sending it out to all members. Uh, that is really recommended. And the style guide is here if you want to go over it. We have all of the chapter logos on file here at headquarters if you need them. Um, these are samples at the bottom. There's one with the image, one without, and then a news one. 
anything going out to the members, any document um, or piece, we really hope that you use the chapter logo. Okay. Let's go back to PowerPoint. Okay. This is brand new this year too. Um, can I just introduce it in Savannah? We're really excited about this. We always get questions from chapter leaders. Do I use your conference calls? Where do you get your ribbons? Lots of services. So we wanted to make sure that connection um, was more efficient and we could also vouch for these companies. So you're listed here. Um, these are our first two partners, and we're very excited about this. Um, so Monkey, we use this for all of our surveys, and it's easy to use. Uh, they do have the 10 and under, 10 questions and under service that you may have used already. But if you upgrade to one of the other plans, you can track what you have said, know who responded. You can pass all the information on to incoming volunteers, um, and they have a lot of information, tracking, you can analyze the data, and if you're interested in this, the link at the bottom, which again I'll be sending out after this call, um, will be available. So we'll hopefully answer a lot more questions. If you do have any, we're happy to answer. And secondly, we just had a few emails this past week. We have used Platinum Graphics. Um, they all have a lot of print material. If you want something with the chapter logo on it, um, really, the Paul Duziak is a contact. He's listed at the bottom. And very nice. he gets back to you really quickly. If you're interested at all in uh, any of these services, you can check out their website listed here, too. Because um, they have a lot more than just ribbons, window clings, and the print items. So, we are wrapping up soon. Um, we have a few upcoming events. If you want to mark your calendar, these are on the ANSP website. But if you are going to be in LA, Arizona, or Oklahoma at the regional meetings, I will see you there. And in the spring, we will be in Nebraska, New Hampshire, and Washington. So, um, slight change. Washington, Seattle is now a two-day meeting. So, we'll be getting in contact with all of these chapters um, shortly for conference calls for the spring. But fall, we look forward to seeing you there. And finally. If anyone has any questions, let us know. Um, there are a few important dates we've already talked about at the bottom. So we'll be sending this out. Anyone have any questions or comments? All right. If you can think of any, Kate and I are available uh, after this via email or if you want to give us a call. But thank you so much for joining today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.